Welcome to Epic Learnings, Happy with the World, Volume 51. The crew's here. Hey, everyone. Hey. Every, every week we get together to share a word of the week and our big learn of the week. And this week, I always choose someone random. Scott, you look weak. <laughs> what was your random? So my one of the week is uh, of teamwork. I, I've been loving the teamwork. A big shout out to Lauren, who's not here. I've been I've been loving working with her this week um, on some modules that we're working on, and I've been building them. She's been reviewing them. Um, then I've been updating the stuff with her review, and it's just been a nice flow towards like it's it actually feels like. I've done it too quickly, if that makes sense, but it's just because it's a really nice flow of what we're doing and we're getting it out there and actually producing really good work, which is cool. So, so yeah, shout out, Lauren. Awesome. Yeah, Lauren. Hey. And yeah, Scott. Because it is <laughs> <laughs> um, Nat, what was your one of the week? Uh, one of the week this week is I'm home <laughs> and I've been um, home. And, and who are you? Introduce yourself to the team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's kind of the beauty of working remotely, right? Is that I've been still sort of turning up to team meetings, probably not heartbeat to the world, but um, uh, we definitely do have a mobile kind of, um, you know, the ability to be mobile and our virtual office is definitely a virtual office. I think I've done seven different cities in the last six weeks or maybe a little bit more. So um, maybe eight cities in the last six weeks. So been on the road, been really busy, um, meeting some awesome people, working with great clients, but nothing beats your own bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it ruins you sometimes if you have a decent mattress. So, yeah. um, Rebecca, what was your win of the week? Yeah, um, my win of the week is that it's the last day of the school holidays and I've survived. <laughs> and yeah, you can you can always tell when it's the school holidays because my house is a mess and I'm wearing a hoodie. <laughs> 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 yeah, so you know, I had I've had heaps to do the last couple of weeks, um, so it's been quite challenging having a full house. But yeah, I survived. Yeah, yeah. Normal, got everything done, Becca. <laughs> that dovetails into uh, my one of the week because I've been I've had the chance to work with uh, Rebecca a bit closer over the last uh, week or so, uh, getting a, a project across the line and it's been lots of fun. Uh, it's always good when. Uh, when you're collaborating, being able to work at the same time with someone in your team, and we haven't had quite had that opportunity. Normally, it's Rebecca looking at my work after I've finished it, or no, at the beginning or the end, but us actually working together at the same time and problem solve in real time together when we both had the same problem. And it's such a cool feeling, and, and getting it done, even though it was at 8.30 last night, but still, we got it done, and we're all set up for today. So yeah, it's been really great working with you, Rebecca. Lots of... Awesome. It's been cool. Real cool. I don't, I don't know if that smile's real, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, I, it feels like you've only just realised how awesome Rebecca is. <laughs> so, I've been working with Rebecca for a, over a year now. Okay, maybe <laughs> you've just been hogging her, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, this week's Big Learn. Do you want to do an intro for the Big Learn this week, Matt? Uh, yeah, so Big Learn for this week, I think... One of the things the team's been exploring is different ways that we can collaborate. And, um, you know, we're a virtual team. We all live in different cities and we've grown the team this year. So we've gone from a team of four to a team of six. So there's been a lot of training and development that's needed for the newbies and, and a lot of different sort of things that have need to happen so that we can still keep our awesome team vibe and gel as a team, get to know each other and, and work together on projects and sort of change some of our internal processes to to, to fit a bigger team um, so yeah collaboration it, it, it's been um, it's a challenging thing when you're in different cities and different time zones and and that but I think we're starting to really nail some awesome awesome techniques yeah yeah, it's been really good I think our basic one that we're using as a team is using slack which is a chat um, chat tool or app whatever and it's kind of our virtual office right Nat so we yeah. actually all hanging out in the same little chat room and that's we can do your water cooler chat how's the weather it's Friday yay but it's also that whole kind of um, ask quick questions whether something where something is so it's that really baseline collaboration I think is uh, where, where that works really well yeah and I think one of the things that we do well in in slack is use channels so we have a different channel for every project that we work on so uh, communication is quite streamlined and you can either go in for a 
kind of general chat with the team in our main channel where it's at the moment is basically Game of Thrones and Avengers talk. Yeah. And, um, and then, or you can go specifically to the work related topics that we're doing and find out what's going on. So it means I can um, jump in and out of a project. So I might be away for a week working on something else, come back to a project that's a bit more ongoing and I can spend some time just to catch up and, and see exactly where we're at. Um, we've already talked about Plutio, which is kind of, uh, yeah. works really well with that phone with our yeah. task yeah. allocation but this is more the collaboration and iteration kind and, of and sharing and working off each other's strengths and and those sort of things yeah we're doing it with clients as well so um we've got a, a, a pretty decent um size project on the go at the moment where we're um, delivering 20 e-learnings and so there's a um real collaborative effort going on between us and the client who's based elsewhere as well um do you, you guys are do, working more closely. Who wants to sort of share how the what how that's going? Yeah. Yeah. Well, using the um, articulate review site's been really awesome. Um, we've been able to really keep track, close track of um, comments and updates, and you don't miss anything. And that's it, brilliant. Um, you can even upload images and videos to the section that the specific section oh. that you're working on. It, it's great. I didn't. I didn't know that, and I thought I was an ex, like uh, I thought I was an expert on this stuff. When I go in there and you guys <laughs> trained all the the subject matter experts to upload all the image of the videos and the content directly into the review site for us to put in, it's like basically there's been no emails. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my like, god, Carl, Carl, you learned something new about the storyline. <laughs> I thought you were the master. <laughs> Thought I was the master. No, he thought he was the master. Yeah, <laughs> um, it, that's a really good point around that emails and also version control. So with using the Articulate review site, everybody is looking at the latest version all of the time, and so you're not having this tr challenge where people are looking at three versions ago, or they're not sure if something's been updated or not, or that, that sort of stuff. So there's this constant flow of information going back and forward as but we it's, it's the, the truth and everyone can see the truth there's yeah. no um version one of something being sent out and version two being sent out we just get the final version and replace it then everyone has their vision and yeah. Yeah, um, really even is. interesting is watching clients change their do weird hacks themselves like leaving notes for themselves inside the review site so that when they come back to it they can go back to it themselves like Okay, well, because it is a collaboration, Doc. Why couldn't you leave notes for yourself in there as well, as long as you kind of title it right? So it's interesting seeing like people adapting it to work with their workflows, but which is what it's all about anyway. Yeah, the Google Suite that we use is another great collaboration tool. So thinking about the design system that we're building in our design meetings, and then sort of working on Google Docs and having more than one person inputting information and 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 sort of doing that real time stuff has been quite good oh, as yeah, well. Big time, it's man. really freaky seeing someone edit a doc when you're in it because all of a sudden yeah. it like moves yeah. up <laughs> and, 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 and we've used other other tools we don't use it so much anymore um one note in, his, in the past has been a real good collaboration tool it's just that we've gone to team google and not microsoft so we're kind of living in that space but it's still a great way of collaborating if you've got it definitely use it um and a great another variation on slack would be teams so if you've got teams that's also Kind of a similar thing, even though I think Slack is better. Any other collaboration tools that we use, team, that you think uh, that we've been getting a lot of value out of? So, review site's really great. Um, Typeform. Typeform. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. What's Typeform, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> Typeform. Um, so, basically, uh, Typeform has really been really good for uh, us to get like feedback from the people who are using the e-learnings kind of thing, you know, like clients or customers or whatever. And it comes back through of like, how did you like this? What could we do better on this? You know, that kind of thing It's really good collaboration because the feedback comes back in and it's all joined uh, again. It's not like a whole lot of emails. It's all in one spot. You can see what star rating you got for this. And, and yeah, it's, it is really good. And same with Becca's, um, Game of Thrones thing. <laughs> she can keep up to date with who's going to die. Type <laughs> <laughs> so, form in a nutshell is a survey quiz kind of, it's almost its own little programming language where you to get information from people. So it can be a poll, survey, feedback, whatever you want to make it. You just got to have the imagination for it. Rebecca uh, made a Game of Thrones. Like, well, we're going to talk about those results. Oh, it's going to yeah. have to be this week. We're almost out of time. But yes, 
Next, next week. Next week. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not only a collaboration because we used it. So it's a gathering information tool, but we've used it as a collaboration tool with our, this year's reviews, our own kind of personal development yeah. reviews. And we're tasked to make type forms and get to find out more about the team and how our own performance has been for the team. Again, improve our collaboration as well. So, well, we've got we use collaboration tools. I guess we're yeah, it, it's a big focus um, for me as a, as the leader of the team is going to be collaboration this year. So I've got a natural tendency to try to just get things done myself. So, you know, and I think a lot of managers out there will totally relate to this where you think, oh, it'll just be quicker if I do it myself. I'll just do quickly do this or, you know, and lots of reasons why we do it. But every time I stop, pull myself up and go, no, the team is actually going to be able to produce a better product. Um, it's worked so far. And so mm -hmm. it's about taking the eye out and, and putting the, the, the team in, you know, and um, it's, <laughs> There's so many benefits to have that. Everyone's growing, everyone's learning, and we actually got a way better performance review system out of it by letting everybody seek the feedback that they wanted than we would have ever got if I'd decided what the questions were going to be and what everyone was going to give feedback on. So mm. um, it, it, it's been awesome, and I can't wait for the next stage of that because we're going to um, collaborate in our performance reviews and get together and actually sort of talk through our goal setting and, and, and do that in a, in a uh, online meeting as well so that that's going to be awesome too yeah yeah i've really enjoyed reading the feedbacks because i'm like cool that's something i can work on or something i need to put into a list and because obviously you don't know yourself sometimes you it, you overlook it and so when someone says it to you like cool gonna chuck that down on my list for things to work on or whatever so yeah and it's great to get feedback from the whole team rather than just your boss. Like, I think that's been kind of good as well. So everyone, you work with different people in different ways. And, you know, if you see something that's sort of relevant across everybody's feedback, then, then that's, you know, a lesson in itself. But the way we communicate with different people is going to be different too. So, yeah, I, it's been a great exercise. Yeah. I haven't, I, uh, actually, and, and, I haven't actually read any of my feedback from you guys yet because I made a deal that I was going to give out the team feedback before I read the feedback on me because I didn't want it to yeah, influence yeah. what feedback I was giving. So maybe I won't be calling it a win next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I um little little spoiler for me. Everyone's given me my feedback, and my one question I put in there was. Uh, what Marvel character do I like the most? And the only one that got it right is Nat. So props are to that. <laughs> I thought you were asking me what my personal one was. <laughs> well, I think that's what it was. No. It, it, might be, it might be that she's the only one that likes the same character. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought, shout out to Nat. Props. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> you put Captain America. Yeah. yeah, that's right. You did. Yeah. Okay, dude, we're off track, which means it's the end. <laughs> um, game everyone, by the way. Um, see you next week. If you want to join us, join us. Bye. See you later. Bye.